Welcome back. Today we're talking about how to stay consistent in the gym and a realistic guide for how to go about your fitness journey. I really want this to be relatable to the average person. Going to the gym is a habit that has changed my life in many ways and that I'm so grateful that I picked up. And it's something that I really want to share with the world, women in particular, because I think that there is so much power that can be drawn from fitness and from taking care of your body. And it's really um, a transformative experience and something that has built a lot of the love that I have for myself. So it's something that I am passionate about and I want to talk about it in a way that people can relate to and people can apply to their own lives. The first tip that I have is to choose a workout regimen that works for you and your specific goals and something that you're going to stick to. So figure out what it is that you could do in the gym, what it is that you could do for exercise that you would actually enjoy and be passionate about and do that thing. For me, it's weightlifting. I really enjoy weightlifting. I like feeling strong. I like being able to walk into the weight section as a woman and have no problem and feel completely like I belong there. I like to build muscle. And so I really enjoy weightlifting as my form of fitness. But not everyone is going to want to even try weightlifting. Some people would prefer sticking with cardio. Some people prefer yoga, Pilates, kickboxing. There are so many different things you can do. And some of them don't even require you going to a gym. So figure out what it is that calls to you and that excites you and formulate your workout regimen around that thing. You're much more likely to stick with a workout routine if it is something that you actually enjoy doing. If you're dreading going to the gym to do whatever it is that you are trying to do for your fitness and it's something that you don't look forward to, something that doesn't excite you, something that you don't enjoy in any way, then you are much more likely to fall off from doing that sooner rather than later and it's just not a sustainable way to make fitness a part of your life. So choose something that you actually enjoy. If you're going to be dedicating time from your life, from your day, often to do this thing, you want it to be something that fulfills you in some way. Other than that, also make sure that you are being realistic with yourself about how often you're going to be able to do that thing. Not everyone has time to devote two hours a day, five days a week to working out. Some people can do that and that's great. Others can't. I would say most people can't. So be realistic with yourself about how often you're actually going to be able to get to the gym, get to whichever environment you need to be in in order to engage in this activity and incorporate that into your plan. Don't set unrealistic expectations for yourself because again, that is a recipe for a disaster and you're not going to stick with what you have outlined. So for me, I try, I do try to get to the gym five to six times a week and I do at least hour long workouts. However, I have the ability to do that. That fits into my schedule and it's just very important to me that I dedicate that time to working out. So that's me personally, although on weeks, on some weeks I'm less able to do that and I get to the gym maybe four times instead and I have room for that in my workout regimen because I know there are going to be weeks where it's not possible for me to get to the gym that many times and spend as long there. Another tip that I have, and this one I'm really passionate about, is to not expect the process to be picture perfect. I think that social media and fitness influencers really sell us this idea that your fitness journey is going to look perfect. Many influencers always have a new cute outfit on, they have their hair done nicely, their makeup done, and their gym looks amazing, their kitchen looks amazing when they're making their protein shake. Everything just looks so picture perfect and that can sell the idea to us that 
our fitness journey needs to look like that as well but i think that that's very unrealistic especially for the average person who doesn't have the time the money whatever it is to put into their fitness journey looking like that that can just be very disheartening when you expect things to look the way that they do for people online when in reality they don't actually look like that so i just want to tell you right off the bat that it's not very common for your whole life to look picture perfect and social media does a great job of selling us the idea that it is, but it's really not. It's totally okay to not have the funds to put into a huge array of workout clothes. It's okay to not have the time or the desire to do your makeup and your hair before you go do a workout. That is just not realistic for the average person and for me too there are a lot of days where i don't even have the energy to find a cute new outfit to wear and get ready for the gym i just kind of throw on whatever and go and that is i think what it looks like for most people so going into your fitness journey with that expectation versus the other is going to help you a lot because you're not going to put so much pressure on yourself for your process to look so perfect it's just not going to and i also want to make the point that people tend to cater their content a certain way so what i mean by that is if an influencer knows that they're going to be filming their workout they're much more likely to look really cute and choose an outfit specifically because of that and put more time into their physical appearance because they know they're going to be creating content to post online i do this as well when i know that i'm going to be filming a workout i pick a cuter outfit i take more time to do my hair to do my makeup and i cater my whole look to the fact that i'm creating content so it's very important here to keep in mind that what we see online is not real life and i want to make an effort to look more normal and relatable in my videos and to look like what i actually look like on a day-to-day -day because that is something that I think people can relate to and will set more realistic expectations for anyone who watches my content and looks up to it. Although I don't think there's anything wrong with looking cute to go to the gym, I think it can be super fun to have a really cute workout outfit and to do some makeup, do your hair in a fun way. I'm not knocking that at all. I think it can be really enjoyable to feel and look good while at the gym. However, I don't think it should be a priority because it puts a lot of pressure on you and it almost gets you to a point where you feel like if you don't look cute, then you might as well not go to the gym, which will be detrimental in the sense of your fitness journey and making going to the gym a long-term commitment so keep that in mind i'm getting ready to go do a workout my energy levels are just not there right now a lot of days honestly are just like that unless i'm really in a good mood and, and pumped up i'm like not usually not in the mood to go do a workout i don't use pre-workout Partly because my stomach is super sensitive and it just doesn't go well for me. And partly because it's expensive. So yeah, I'm just not really feeling it today. I'm not really feeling like getting cute. I don't really have the time to get cute. So I'm not going to. I'm just, I just at least threw on a cute outfit. I'm going to put my hair up in a bun and go. I'm not going to do my makeup or anything. Like, look at this bun. I don't even know what's happening with this, but I'm not going to spend 10 hours redoing it a bunch of times. I'm just going to go. I feel like going to the gym is a matter of overcoming so many obstacles. Like, first you have to find the energy to even consider going and make time for it in your day. Then you have to get ready for it. And then... So many other obstacles come into play. Like, it is so disgusting outside right now. It's cold as hell and windy and icy and I do not want to go anywhere. I just want to stay in bed and watch TV and do nothing. But for some reason I'm going anyways. It's worth it to go because it's such a rewarding feeling to be like, there were so many things that I could have let stop me from going to the gym. But I persevered and I went anyways. I usually do like a two hour workout on leg days. Today's a leg day, so that's typically what I would do. But honestly, I do not have the energy for a two hour workout. And also, 
I don't have the time because I want to go see a movie with my friends. I'm still going, but I'm not going to do a two hour workout. And the last thing I want to talk about is the fact that mindset is so much more important than physical appearance when it comes to your fitness journey. What you look like is a tiny aspect of what working out is. Although it's fun to see changes in your body and see yourself building muscle, getting more toned, uh, getting closer to your body goals or your goals of what you want your body to look like, I think that's fun and I think it's great to make progress in feeling more comfortable in your skin. However, I also think it's very important to love yourself and accept yourself exactly where you're at and to not get caught up in this mentality of once I look this way, then I'm going to feel great because it really doesn't go like that. No matter how good you look, no matter how much your body image improves, it's not going to completely take away all of your insecurities and solve that problem for you forever. We, people tend to feel insecure about something regardless of what they look like. So have that in mind and also be aware that there's so much more to working out than what you physically look like. The impact that it has on your mind is not something to take for granted. Um, I have gained so many things mentally through working out. I'm a lot stronger mentally. I'm much more able to overcome anxiety and things that are bothering me. I feel much more capable in all aspects of my life because I realize how capable I am in the gym. I realize that when I set my mind to something, I can truly accomplish it. And so I think it's very important to keep that in mind that there are so many other great things that come from working out. And this will make it so that you're not measuring your success in the gym based off of physical appearance. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, Life is going to get in the way sometimes of you sticking to your workout regimen. I have had moments where I took a month long trip and I didn't set foot in the gym that entire time. Um, the pandemic hit a couple years ago and everything closed down. We all experienced that and anyone who had going to the gym as a part of their life experienced not being able to do that, like no choice around it. So. There are going to be times when life just gets in the way of you going to the gym as consistently as you want to. And that can take a huge toll on you when you're so focused on your physical goals. It can make it so that you're so hard on yourself. And when it's not something like the pandemic, which we had no control over, but something that happens much more often, like you have a really busy week and you just don't have the time to make it to the gym or you get sick, you get an injury, mentally you're just not capable of getting out the door to the gym. These things are going to happen more often than not and you need to be able to accept that and to love yourself through it and to not get too fixated on the fact that you're not getting closer to your goals. I've been there, I've been super hard on myself for time that I've taken off from the gym and for feeling like I'm going to lose all of my progress and all of that and it's a really negative place to be in and it puts way too much focus on your physical goals and the fact that you need to be going to the gym consistently in order to achieve them it's a huge achievement to set foot in the gym in the first place and to make a point that that's going to be a part of your life and that you're going to prioritize your overall well-being that's huge and so when you let a week or two where you don't go to the gym overshadow all of those other accomplishments and bring you down and make you feel like you're not getting to where you want to be that can be a really negative cycle and can lead to you having a really unhealthy relationship with working out and going to the gym so i wanted to make a point to address that because i have experienced that and i, I know many other people have as well and i want anyone who hasn't really embarked on their fitness journey yet to go into it with an awareness that there are going to be ups and downs That's not this linear slope where you start here and you just keep going until you get here and it's amazing and sunshine all the way through it's not going to be like that because life is not like that and i think it can be really empowering to go into the experience with that awareness thank you so much for spending some time with me and checking out this video comment down below about your fitness journey and things that you have learned along the way i would love to read your individual stories and i will see you in the next video